right, so on the Revel, it is a Revel, not a Revel X. No drawer over here. Up top, I keep my Bosch ADS 625 up here. Another Astrolite from Matco. My charger and my stream light up here. You notice the trend? I've got key hooks up here for customer car keys. My wall of fame. Stickers from all my friends as, that are YouTubers. You know, Thomas EXO VCDS, Rob from One Auto, Leon, Cody, of course, Eric O, Pauly's Auto, SNA, Joe's, L1 Automotive Diagnostics, Voltage, Voltage Drop Diagnostics, Tool Hut, Diagnose Dan, Wyatt One Able, Trained by Tex, Chris over at Science and Diagnostics, and of course, Mario. Now I showed this in another video, my behind the scenes video, but I keep my collection of new hats. See, I'm wearing a Matco hat while I'm doing a Matco toolbox tour. I've got this model toolbox that I got from Matco that kind of matches the Revel X theme. So, and of course on this one, I have a stainless steel top because when I bought my original Revel X, it was not available. All right. Top drawer on this side is, oh, well, you know, tap and die set, rethreading kit, Mac special extractor style Torx bits for when a Torx bit is screwed up. You can't use them as regular. I, they don't fit where I need them. More tap and dies. I mean, more tap and dies, tap holder. This side of the drawer, it's destruction. Big nasty, snap on, air saws, die grinders, cut off wheels. You know, if you want to move, big nasty. Cut off tool, this is actually an old Campbell Hausfeld that I've had for years. All my bits, this is actually a old Axle bolt that I use if I've got to push on a Volkswagen axle and it doesn't want to move and I need to reuse it. Uh, fan belt tools, including the one for BMW to hold it when the belt's broken. Cut off wheels. All right, next drawer down is, well, let's be honest. It's a whole lot of money right here. Snap on torque wrench, 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 Mac torque wrench. Uh, Toyota Cam tool for holding pulleys, that kind of stuff. Spanner wrench, stethoscope, Toyota wheel bearing tool, blow gun, mini belt tool for serpentine belts, regular belt tool, couple different styles of fuel pump tools for the locking rings, pulley holder for cam, suction pump for Volkswagen, Coil puller for Volkswagen, coil puller for Volkswagen, spark plug puller for Volkswagen, drum, disc, measuring tool, special tool for doing golf boosters, I believe. I forget exactly what, but it's, you gotta have that tool. Dipstick for Chrysler's. All right, next door down. All right, Astro Pneumatic O2 sensor sockets. JTC oil pressure sensor, sensor socket, serpentine belt tools for stretch belts, spark plug for Fords, you know, the three valve. Oil drain plug tool for Volkswagen, a uh, battery brush tool that I don't use anymore, Vano socket, a modified stretch belt tool that didn't work. The adapters for my OTC transmission filler, and a couple different VIM tools. That's the security torques back there. I've got the overrunning clutch for alternators for the one-way clutch tool, and BMW tow hook for when you're doing oil pans and have to support the engine. Drawer of drilling. My Milwaukee drill, my Matco hyperstep bits, they came in handy just the other day. Can cut, my right angle drill, left stubby from can cut. Step bits from Matco, extractors from Matco, 
They used to be Irwin. I think somebody else is making them now. Helicoil kits. Again, used one of those the other day. Of course, center punch. Whole lot of old drill bits that I probably just need to throw out. All right, this drawer. This is a drawer that's gonna make Keith DeFazio cringe because it's a drawer of test coils. <laughs> test coils. Honda main relay. Whole bunch of gaskets and stuff, spare parts that we didn't build a customer for, but it's just too much of a pain in the butt to send back, so I kind of keep them. They might come in handy one day, along with injector seal kits for Volkswagen 2.0s, a spare tappet for the same car, an idle air control valve for a my old excursion that I never put on, a dormant purge valve. Don't ask me why. It, oh, I know why it's in a, Mop, in a Mopar box, because we were supposed to send it back <laughs> to our other supplier. Motor for a Jeep transfer case. We wound up eating this motor because it was the uh, control module, not the motor itself. A, can anybody guess what this is for? Yep, it's a substitute of ground when you think main battery cable is broken. All right, this drawer is various leads and cables connecting J boxes to computers. Uh, the ethernet cable for BMWs for my Autel, the ethernet cable for my Autel, along with an adapter, Chrysler adapter for my Autel, some extra cables, some paint, Spare couplers for Toyotas in case they break. My old junk, uh, my old breakout box. My soldering drawer, of course. The Milwaukee is the king. The snap-on of the power probe don't get much use anymore. Shrink tubing, Tessa tape, cutters, crimpers, vice grips. This tool. The flush cut tool I got from Rust Belt. Haven't actually used it, but of course my brass sponge to clean my tips. Spare Toyota battery terminals, because that's what we use when we replace the battery terminal. Lighters, spare terminals when we're repairing battery cables. Of course my third hand. All right, next door down is the power drawer and, well, camera gear stuff. Box for my camera, my batteries for my lights, charging for my lights, camera batteries, my Joby, spare lens for this camera. All right, this drawer, my run out gauge, a bushing tool for BMWs, caliper tool that I don't use anymore, timing tools for a, timing tools for a Chevrolet, my old uh, compression gauge, puller for GM Chrysler balancers. This is a bunch of spare wires and connectors that I haven't been in in a while. Probably need to look through that. Chains and, and that kind of stuff. Water pump tool for GM. Terminal tools. Old inner tie rod end tool. Last three drawers. All right, so I moved my coolant pressure adapters, my pressure tester, the case for my vacuum filler, my uh, smart filler, which I made by Redline, all into the single drawer. A lot easier to get to than the, where they used to be. I don't have the lid anymore, so it's real convenient to look for it. And I've got my chart down here in case I'm trying to figure out what fits what. All right, next drawer down is a lot of different specialty tools, BMW ball joint adapter so you can hammer it off. Spare nut driver adapters. I've got the rest on my cart. Caps, rivets, 
magnetic sockets that the rest are on my cart. BMW front crankshaft, oh, front crankshaft seal remover and installer, wheel lock keys, Ford timing tool set, and some Milwaukee sockets down there. My go-to inner tie rod end tool. Some numbered punches, because I do engine work now. No. <laughs> Spare hooks for my hutch, injector puller. All right, last drawer, I still got some room. Case for my Snap-on DVOM. It now houses my old DVOM in case I need it. You never know when you might need a second DVOM. Volvo timing tool, master cool, valve core remover and installer kit. This allows you to remove the, the uh, Schrader valves with the system charged. Astro radio tool kit, some assorted O-rings for, for uh, AC, a, another version for removing three valve spark plug. Haven't actually used this yet. Oh, and this is a good leak detection pump and seal. You know, when customers say they're gonna come back to get something done, you order in the part and they never do. So you wind up sitting up on my toolbox until I forget to return it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed part two of my Re Wall of Revels toolbox tour. Thanks for watching, I am the Flat Rate Master.